Well, tonight, the unemployment rate throughout Northeast Indiana is improving the further along we go into the pandemic, but it's not all good news. Fox 55's Caleb Saylor has more on what the trends look like and how the pandemic continues to impact the job market. For the first time since the statewide shutdown in April, all counties in Northeast Indiana have seen unemployment drop to below 5%. Rachel Blakeman with the Community Research Institute says a rebounding workforce isn't having the same effect for everyone. For those who are struggling, there are lots of folks struggling. For those, of, for those who are doing well, whose lives have largely returned, that is not a universal experience in this economy. One of those people is Monty Hanshi. He says he was a mechanic all his life, but now at 62 years old, work is becoming harder. I'm struggling having uh, trying to find a job in this because of the pandemic going on. You know, it, employment's getting a little harder than it used to be. Blakeman says for people like Hanshi, there are jobs there, which is a good sign. Anyone who wants a job can find a job. Now, whether it's the exact job you want, I mean, there's lots of other things, but you can be employed. But it comes with a disclaimer. That news is tempered by the fact that there are fewer people either working or looking for work than there was a year ago. This could be due to retirees deciding to stop working earlier than planned or people who've lost their jobs deciding not to go back to the same job and wait to find something better. But part of the shrinking workforce is because of what's happening in schools. The schools have been going on and off in terms of online learning all all semester, I mean, since August. And so there may be parents who decided, based on what their own job situations were, of sitting out from the workforce. This means that the demand for food banks and other assistance programs might continue to grow while some people get their jobs back. But people like Hanshi might not get their top choice jobs as COVID-19 second wave impacts the area. I guess kind of at this point, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So I, I guess I'd be open to other things. In Fort Wayne, Caleb Saylor, Fox 55 News. Blakeman says while we won't know what the November unemployment numbers will look like around until Christmas, they're likely to be shaped by people's habits during the second wave.